everyone, my name is Sharon and I'm currently filming this in my studio apartment in Cape Town, Los Angeles. Um, I guess a part of my social context that I would think is particularly significant is that I grew up in a non-Christian household. My mom is actually very vehemently against Christianity, so it's been tough and also just a ministry in itself trying to figure out how to balance respecting her, but also standing firm in my beliefs and showing her that God is a good God um, who teaches me to honor my parents, even if our belief systems are different. Um, three things that I would say is important for someone to know about me is I am deathly allergic to hummus or chickpeas, so hummus. Um, I'm not really sure that there's anything else that's specifically very important for them to know about me. I love my cats. <laughs> um, I do like baseball and I do love watching the Dodgers um, because I'm an LA girl at heart and probably always will be. The moment that I decided to go into seminary wasn't a moment in time when I was when I was in college, I was in a college ministry that brought me to Christ, and I really wanted to serve there and to learn more about my faith through ministry, but um, because of legal reasons of the ministry, I wasn't able to join in that year. Um, so from there, I just went to the workplace, and for a while, I was actually a flight attendant. And because I was a flight attendant, I was flying back and forth, especially on Sundays, and it just became really hard for me to go into church. Um, and because of that, I started an online ministry through my blog where um, I would type up my QTs and I would encourage others to share their QTs and just to have an open dialogue about our faith um, or lack thereof for some people who would be asking me questions. So I think from there, God really solidified my desire to be in ministry. And so when life settled down a little bit and I came back to California, um, I just strapped myself down and thought it was time for me to really go in and learn more about my faith and really um, open, the, open my heart to ministry and to just letting God use whatever my diploma can lead me. Um, and I hope that from this course, I can have a little bit more guidance as to um, where God is leading me because I'm someone who has a lot of ideas, but I don't always know where it will lead me. And that's the end of three minutes. So bye.